Hi, I'm Shannon D. Reed, and I am an ADR director for Sentai Filmworks and also High Dive. My name is John Swayze, and I am an ADR director and voice actor with Sentai, and also a lover of all things hops. Hi there, my name is Kyle Colby Jones. I'm an ADR director at Sentai Filmworks and High Dive. And um, I wasn't told to say anything more than that. Well, I worked at ADV, and the first one was actually uh, live action. I was doing monster movies and uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of kung fu, a little bit of sword play. Many, many years ago, my very first show to direct was a show called One Dava Style, about uh, a four-girl band that uh, is enlisted by this crazy scientist kid uh, because he believes that nobody's ever been to the moon, so he's going to send this little rock band of girls, the girl rock band, um, to the moon, which he does. But once I finally started doing the animation, it was a uh, split time between Saint Seiya and Kino's Journey, back and forth. One really loud, one really quiet. Uh, I don't know. If anyone can find out, please tell me. <laughs> Well, first, I can't tell you. The most recent anime that I've directed, as of the making of this film, is Snafu Season 3. I'm not sure if I can talk about it, but... Shirobako. But the one being introduced next is... Demon Girl Next Door, with uh, Monica Rial, Genevieve Simmons, and a whole bunch of other folks. Um, a Hero No Sora is also ongoing, and um, same with Peter Grill. Oh, that's easy. Uh, who I would cast in the biopic of my life would be Michael B. Jordan. Steve Buscemi? I'll take Steve Buscemi. I think the facial features are pretty similar. My wife would be uh, Sofia Vergara. Um, my other wife would be Salma Hayek. John Belushi, I don't know if I can use dead people. Can I use can I, d dead people okay? John Belushi. You know, I'm taller though, but. Uh, and John Swayze would play John Swayze. Dogs. Dogs. Dog guy all the way. I like their happy attitude. Because dogs eat cats. Um, I don't have anything against cats. It's just, cats, they, they always seem like they're up to something and that makes me a little uncomfortable. And their, uh, the whole butt sniffing thing is choice. Well, I'd probably have to go back in the advertising world. I was an ADR copywriter, um, or do some photography, or just all around vagabond, no good, ne'er thee well. I think, regardless, I'd be working in production in some sort of fashion probably be directing in another sort of fashion or writing or camera operating. I, I would still be in production. I would most definitely be an ichthyologist, AKA marine biologist, specializing in sharks. Movies, I would say the most current one is uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan and bringing out Miles Morales was the perfect choice. I'm a Jungle Book fan. I uh, love music, love Mowgli and all the animals, and it was that first one when I was a kid that wasn't a princess, so I enjoyed it for that reason, because princesses. Mm. I prefer demon girls. Uh, would Team America count? It's not really animated. Oh my goodness! As far as TV shows, then it would have to be regular show. That is hands down just awesome. A bunch of baby ducks, him boning. <laughs> Um, I think I'd go in the future, especially right now, go post-pandemic. It would be any time but 2020. <laughs> I believe I would go back to the year 1991 because I met Moon Unit Zappa and I didn't know or didn't snap that that was Frank Zappa's daughter and I completely blew it. I could have met Frank. Maybe. 30, 50, or 50, 12. I don't know, something like really, really far to where it's like, once you land, it's like, whoa, this is crazy. crazy. I wanna see what kind of foods exist. 
you know, what's the technology looking like? If Netflix is still a thing. Or back to 1955, see if I could catch Marty McFly. A little party. Uh, my go-to coffee order. Uh, that's actually, that's a weird one because I have different coffee orders uh, depending on the day or depending on the situation. If this was a normal day, then uh, two sugars, one cream, small amount of cream. If I'm busy, then I'll just go all black. Uh, if I have to be up like late, like after midnight, then it will most likely be all black. Uh, my favorite go-to coffee is real simple, black. Black coffee. I used to love it with like sugars and sweet and lows and all the stuff. And then one day there was none of that and I just drank it black and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. It's so simple and so delicious. If I'm just up and I'm just doing just fun stuff, uh, nothing work related, then I would go uh, two sugars, no cream, uh, all black. I like just good old black coffee with sugar. Um, but I do like a I do prefer, in the summer, a good old iced coffee. Very sweet iced coffee. Sweet, like Shannon Reed. I do enjoy siphon coffee. For that one, I don't put anything in it. Um, I also like French press, which it kind of depends on the day. Uh, if you want to get in the French press, then what you want to do is you want to get your coffee grounds, put it in a cup, and then uh, you want to put a little bit of warm water over it and let it sit. If those are bringing hot water, you pour it in, you press it in, let it sit for a minute, you press it 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 from time to time. One food for the rest of my life. Oh, that's easy. I would eat pizza. One food for the rest of my life, tacos, tacos, tacos. One food the rest of my life, without a doubt, pho. Hmm, I, got ca I get cast as birds a lot. So maybe, inadvertently, I'm a bird. A shark. Mainly because of my gills. But probably more monkey, like a, like a tree monkey. Gangly arms, look at these things, they're crazy. I, I've I actually heard that question like a ton of times over the years. And it's like, I, I really, I can never, honestly, if, if you can think of an animal uh, uh, that you think fits me, then please let me know. Uh, message me on Twitter. <laughs> Let's see, less traffic. Um, I've gotten more sleep, for sure. Let's see, oh, um, less traffic. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad because my sleep schedule has gone all over the place uh, where I'd be up from like midnight to like 6, 7 a.m., then go to sleep, take a nap, be up by nine. Um, and less traffic? My inherent love of popsicles. We have at my house this back deck, kind of a cabana thing, and uh, during the first month of the quarantine, uh, the weather was gorgeous and we spent a lot of time out there. And um, as it heated up, I decided that I needed something cool to kind of cool me down, and I discovered these sugar-free popsicles, and I eat about a box a day. Um, see a lot less of John Swayze. But they're sugar-free, so how bad can it be? Mm, I see a lot less to Shannon Reed. Let's see, uh, I've actually done a lot more just research on software. Um, so that's been a, a pretty good plus, you know, just kind of studying up on things I find interesting. Oh, one other good thing about uh, the pandemic is that my daughter has started cutting my hair. Um, I think she really wants me to have a mohawk. It's been going higher every time she does it. Uh, I found out what a Twitch is. It's a channel, and you can do stuff like stream video games. So keep an eye out for that, because I know what it is now. It's fun. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to mask up. Mask up out there. Wear your mask. This right here, this is how you wear it. Don't, don't do this. You look like an idiot. Just wear it. Super simple. Look. Yeah. Mm-hmm.